Hey y'all, hey. I am doing a sit down vlog for you all today. I think actually my next two vlogs is gonna be sit down. I just wanna talk to y'all a little bit and give y'all a little bit of update on what's happening in Bessie LB's life. Um, so first and foremost, happy 2023, right? I am excited about 2023. 2023 is a year to claim. Y'all hear what I'm saying? It is a year to claim. So I'm really excited about it because I feel like for the first time in a long time, I'm really grabbing what's rightfully mine and I am going for it. So that's why I'm really excited about it. Um, this vlog is going to be about 2023's vision. And I know I sat with y'all last year. Y'all had saw me putting my 2022 vision board together. I told y'all that I wanted to continue the tradition from, um, I think I started doing them in 2021, 2022, 2023. So I want to continue them on and I make them really small. So let me just show y'all what I did and then I'll walk y'all through 2023, baby. Okay, so this was the first one I had did in 2021, right? My name the the year and I was like I want to keep up with this moment momentum now the things that I have is that they're not as pretty as the 2021 but whatever they do so what I did differently for 2022 is is that I had did similar size right but when I got back from Boston if you guys haven't checked out that Boston vlog go check it out please okay like comment Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Thank you for coming back and supporting if you're not. I love it. Um, so what I decided to do when I got back from Boston was for the 2022 vision board. I went on ahead and in the back, I explained what I did um, fulfill and what I didn't, right? And not necessarily giving explain, explanations on so why I didn't, whatever, but just like how I kind of interpreted what I thought I wanted to do for 2022, how it played out, and you know, what I could move forward doing. Now we're on to 2023. 23 is actually less creative stickers and all that stuff. I couldn't find, y'all, I don't know. As the year's gone on, I have not been able to find the funny stickers that I found in 2021. So this year, we ain't even got no stickers on this one, y'all. And I did such a crappy, uh, let me show y'all, such a crappy uh, stencil on the top of there. I was like, my younger Bessie would not appreciate how that Bessie 2023 is so messy, but that's all right. We got the vision coming across. So I just want to discuss with y'all What's happening in 2023, be fully transparent with my life. Um, there's some things I'm not going to mention quite yet because I will do videos down the line um, to discuss with y'all about what's happening in 2023, but definitely want to just touch base on what I see for myself in 2023 and why I'm so excited. First of all, I just want to tell y'all, I am exhausted, y'all. I didn't go to bed until like 4.30 in the morning. And I just woke back up at 9.30 in the morning. So I have five hours of sleep and I am like still really tired. Like I just need some more sleep. But baby, it was because I was focusing on what's happening here in 2023. You feel me? <laughs> now let me stop. So that's what I was doing. So in 2023, my main thing I could tell y'all is that I want to focus on my business stuff. I need to grow my business. I've been established in business since 2016. I've been established, all this stuff. But I have not been doing anything, y'all. I have not been doing anything that have stuck, I should say. I've attempted every single year to work towards my business, especially during the pandemic. I feel like that's when everybody was trying to boom with starting a business or working on, to on and towards their business. But I get stuck and I get stuck because as a Libra, and I don't know if y'all other Libra uh, 
fellow Libras feel me. But as a Libra, I feel like I want to do 20 things. And then I get overwhelmed realizing like you can't do 20 things or things, right? You need to slow down and you need to figure it out. And then sometimes I get stuck on certain aspects of it. And then I also feel like working full time and all this stuff just takes over. And then just your mental and your whole lifestyle, everything happens that you forget about wanting to do what you feel will fulfill you most. So anyway, 2023, we're not doing any of that. If that means there's no sleep being had, like me, then there's no sleep being had because baby, we get into the bag this year. You hear me? <laughs> just stick with me. Okay, so for 2023, I'm gonna just go through the list briefly and I'm not gonna bore y'all with this, but I just wanna tell y'all just a little bit of snips of what it is that I plan on doing. So I have um, focusing more on my business. Some of the stuff I'm not going to list right to y'all because I want to tell y'all as the year goes on and progress. So focusing more on my business, right? Spending less time focusing on making somebody else's business go around and focusing more on making my business go around. So I've already actively been doing that, right? Hopefully I pay off some debt is the next thing I had that on 2022 but 2023 I'm continuing which I'm proud right I didn't just talk about it in 2022 and didn't make it happen I'm continuing because by the end of this year baby I need that debt to be gone because something that's going on my 2024 vision board is hopefully if life plays out that way then hopefully I will be buying my first piece of property in 2024. At least God w God's will by the end of 2024. So I need to pay off some debt because I don't want to go into that situation with debt. I don't want to even, I, I just want everything to be perfect. My credit to be perfect how it should be. No, nobody knocking at my door as my grandma used to say. Knocking on my door, bill collectors knocking on my door asking for their money. I don't want none of that, y'all. Um, this year, I am working on uh, starting my interior design license, right? So you go to school and you become an interior designer, right? Not an interior decorator. Just want to make that clear, interior designer. I am a professional interior designer, y'all, right? So I want to get licensed. You don't have to be licensed here in California, but I do want to be licensed because I'm one of those that if I can have every freaking credential it takes in my world of whatever it is I'm doing, then maybe I want all the credentials. I want all of whatever I can get. I want whatever is owed to me, okay? So no, but all jokes aside, anything that I can get to better um, myself on paper, off paper, I want it. Um, so I'm working on doing that first part this year. I'm excited. Um, my business right now is a DBA. It's a doing business as what is, which is a registered, uh, business, right? It's registered here in California, but I want to transition it to an LLC by the end of the year, baby, hopefully the beginning of 2024. Um, and the reason why I haven't transitioned it is because, LLCs in California, y'all, I think California probably has, has and probably has the most expensive LLC. That thing is almost $1,000, y'all, almost $1,000. So with that being said, I'm not about to play with my money. I'm not going to have something be an LLC just for the namesake of it being an LLC like a lot of people do. And they're not actively doing anything with their business like me. I was not actively doing enough to be wanting to foot the bill every year for LLC. But I am legit. I am on the books. So you can't use my name um, here in California. Okay. You hear what I'm saying? So I want to transition that. Um, focusing more on my business aspect. But there's something that I plan on doing that's going to be big. And I will let y'all know probably in the next couple of months. But I'll get back to that. Um. Continue working on my overall health. Like, as y'all know, um, if y'all been following me, and if you don't know and you're new, welcome. I discovered last year in June that I have a high gluten sensitivity. 
gluten intolerance. Some people may not think that that's a big deal. No, it's not celiac disease, but baby, let me tell you, it's high enough to feel like I damn near be dying. You hear what I'm saying? Feel like I be dying. Um, and so finding that out was very healing for me. Very overwhelming, but very healing for me. And I've been following a gluten-free lifestyle since June, right? I've tried to see if I could touch gluten. That was not a good idea. Or sometimes I've come across foods that had gluten in it and I knew and I felt sick. So with that being said, that also caused bad inflammation in my body. It caused weight loss stall, like if I was trying to work out, or even if I was trying to maintain and try to build muscle, it was not doing anything because my body was highly inflamed. So knowing that I now feel great because now I feel like I can embark on a, um, on a healthy journey of making sure that my body is good inside and out, okay? So... I have that, right? Everybody wants to make sure that their health is good. Um, I want to take at least two trips this year. And baby, I am happy to tell y'all, last year I said four and I took seven. So let me just tell y'all where I went. A little recap. Where did I go? I, I posted the vlogs too. Where did I go? So I went to Seattle last March. Then in May, I went to San Diego. Then in June, um, nope, June I didn't go anywhere. So May, San Diego, July was Vegas for my girl's bachelorette. Um, and then in September, I went to North Carolina for her wedding. I went to Atlanta um for my birthday and then I went to Boston for Christmas so actually it was six I did six things I was supposed to do seven which the seventh well the sixth thing was supposed to be San Francisco and then the seventh thing was supposed to be Boston but that didn't pan out that way because it was so quick coming from Atlanta that I was like, maybe I should take a pause because I'm doing a whole lot right now. So that's what I ended up doing. I did six trips last year, y'all, and I thought I was hot here, honey. I was living my best life. This year is two, and I took it down because I have other things to focus on this year, and I don't want to spend a lot of money on traveling because I got, I got some bigger plans for y'all, okay? So uh, making sure my credit... Top tier, as always, I always try to keep up on my credit. My credit never goes below good, right? It is always good or excellent. Bottom line, point blank, period, okay? Um, I realized I wanted to reflect on my circumstances alone. That's very important, y'all. I want to focus on my circumstances alone, things that I have going on in my life, before I decide to get input from others. I'm a big person that gives a whole lot of opinion, okay? And I'm a person that's open to receiving a lot of opinion. But I feel like sometimes getting people's opinion, whether they're loved ones, whoever, can cloud up your mind and your judgment on what you really should do. So, I want to continue to focus on that in 2023 and I also in in the same sense want to make sure that I'm not giving an opinion that may not necessarily be wanted at the time. I know that I'm opinionated and I'm never going to stop trying to help somebody resolve their problems. That's a problem of mine is I'm always trying to help somebody find a solution to something. But the problem is, is that sometimes people need to live in their troubles. People need to live in the uncertainties, in the, the level of uncomfort in order to pull themselves out of it. You can talk to somebody, as my grandma said, to your face turn blue. But baby, when they're ready to do what they're ready to do, they will do 
it when they're ready to do it. You hear what I'm saying? So I want to take a step back and let people figure things out. But know that I'm there and that I, I love them and I hear them. But they got to figure those things out on their own. So I'm, for, I'm focusing on that this year. Um, another thing is that I need to stop saying sorry. Please comment below and let me know if y'all are in the same boat. Comment below and let me know. Do you say sorry a lot? I've been a very apologetic goddamn motherfucker since I was a kid. I need to stop saying sorry for things that I don't need to say sorry for, right? That's like, um, if, if you think you might've did something, you say sorry just in case. Um, if you feel like, uh, something that you said is not going to sit very well with somebody, you say sorry beforehand because you don't want it to not sit well with them. To hell with that. If it don't sit well with them, it don't sit well with them. And you cross that bridge if it gets to that. And sometimes people don't even be overthinking about things like that. You get what I'm saying? So what are you saying sorry for? And you got to stand firm on what you said sometimes and don't say sorry because you said what you said. And if they don't like it, that's a whole other problem. So I'm just learning to just to to rein, to rein it back. A little bit and stop saying sorry. Um, every month I want to do something special for myself, y'all. So I saw this on social media and it was basically saying if you do all this stuff for yourself every day, all these things that you need to do, but you don't really do the things that you always want to do. And I'm not a person that buys myself things often, y'all. I focus so heavily on... I need this for the house, I need this for my dog, I need this for my car, I need this for the this, I need this for that, and I don't buy myself a lot of stuff, y'all. Like, people buy me things that I be needing sometimes, right? Like, they'll replace my shoes because the shoe probably got a little hole. Not that I can't afford it, I just don't be caring about buying no damn shoes. Um, But I'm like, forget that. So I saw on social media, once a month, and y'all start doing it with me, okay? Once a month, at least once a month, Buy yourself something that you absolutely want that may not have anything to do with what you need, right? Not a laptop stand because it was cute, but you also need it. Not one of those. I mean something that you want, the baby ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but you want it and you deserve it. So since we're in January, what I did for myself this month was, I'm not a concert goer, guys, but I bought a concert ticket to go see Sam Smith in August. He is coming here to LA and I am super excited. Sam Smith is one of my favorite singers, male singers. I love him, love him, love him. And I'm so excited that I did that. So that's my once a month um, thing, that my one thing a month that I did for January. And to just wrap up the rest of this, um, continue talking to God, right? Relinquish the worry. You hear what I'm saying? Relinquish the worry. Have full faith in what he is doing going to do and why he's doing it. Let me repeat that. Relinquish the worry. Ah. Have full faith in what he is doing. Ah. And what he is going to do and why he is doing it. Y'all religious? Y'all understand where I'm coming from from that? I ain't trying to pre preach and do all that to people. If you don't feel it, you don't feel it. Baby, God is always with me and I feel it all the time. Yes, Lord. Amen on this Sunday. And then the other things was internalize how I feel in L.A. This I'm going to leave as like a cliffhanger. I'm going to leave y'all wondering. I want to sit in 2023 and internalize how L.A. truly makes me feel. And if this is my forever home. Because as far as people know, I've always considered L.A. to be my forever home. This is where I've always wanted to be. I love being in L.A. It's such the perfect place to be for all the things I want to fulfill. But is L.A. my forever home? I will know that by the end of the year. And I'm going to make some strides to make sure that I know that. Um, 
get out, join groups that have like-minded people, right? I want to get into circles with more of my black people, um, my creative people, my people that like to cook, like to dance, like to whatever I like to do. I want to get into like-minded groups. You hear what I'm saying? Understand that others have to figure their stuff out. And I already expressed that to y'all with the other thing, right? So suggest when you need to, but learn how to reel it back. Uh, focus less on how life is with others and more on how you want it to be, right? Focus on what you want life to be with the people that's in your life. Get that. And accept what God has for me in life without the why. That is the last thing I wrote down, y'all. Accept what God has for me in my life without the why. Because if you believe in him, you have to stop trying to wonder why and figure out why. You got to just let go and let go. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my focus. That's my 2023. Some of them very specific. Some of them keeps me grounded and keep me right. And some of them are just you know, to come in time when I decide to share with y'all as, as it goes. So, you know, those are just some of my main focus. And yeah, I'm excited to tell y'all how it plays out throughout the year, right? I feel like I share my life throughout the year with y'all. I take y'all on journeys. I show vlogs. I show things of my life. I do reviews. I do all these things. So throughout the year, you'll be able to see if I live those things out. I hope that you guys you're having a great start to your 2023. I hope you guys did a vision board. It's never too late, right? It's still January. If you want to write it down how I do, then go ahead and do that, right? And then you come back like 2022 and you write out what you accomplished or what you need to focus on. And I'm going to do the same thing. This is blank now. But at the end of uh, the year, going into next year, I'm going to write down what I accomplished. And you know, it works for me. It works for me. When you speak it into a existence, it becomes your reality. So I hope 2023 is good to y'all so far. I hope 2023 continues to be good to y'all. And I will be checking in with y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Bye!